And now we're on part 14 of Jack and Daxter, and we're going to fight that giant monster. We're going to use a levitation machine. Whoa, 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 hey, there we go. Great, you have the cells for the machine. They ought to provide enough power to lift that boulder. There we go. Now, be careful facing that monster lurker at the top. Wait! Uh... I'll stay here and protect Kira. Jack, I think you're ready to handle that monster without me. Oh, really heroic of you. <laughs> Coward much, Daxter. <laughs> okay, I've counted I've counted my body count. I've got killed nine times. And I'm gonna keep track of how many times I get killed in the let's play. Because like I said earlier. <laughs> oh. And the gambler says that the gambler says that the smart money's on the monster. Well, I think he may want to reconsider his bet because I'm going to pwn that monster. Unlike that other hero who got pwned. Now bring it on. Is that your best shot? They're easy to dodge. Alright, we can go so we can go a bridge. Why Naughty Dog hasn't released, like, the soundtrack for this game? I would like to buy the soundtrack on CD. I'm sure other fans of this game would too, like, Chief Shadow, perhaps? Whoa! Whoa! Damn. I'm not going down one bit. Whoa! I win! <laughs> Great work! The people of Rock Village are breathing a collective sigh of relief. But there's no time to celebrate. Use your zoomer to navigate the mountain pass up ahead. Be careful. It looks like the lurkers have rigged the whole pass with explosives. When you reach the volcanic crater, be sure to visit the Red Sage's lab and activate the teleport gate so that Father and I can join you. Understood. Mountain pass. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh my! Those lurkers must be headed for a detonator at the end of the canyon. If they reach it before you do, they'll blow up the entire pass. You've got to beat them there and destroy the detonator, or it's all over. Understood. And by the way, I hope for that gambler's sake that he did not bet on the monster. Otherwise. <laughs> Okay, body count 10. Otherwise, the gambler is going to end up losing a lot of money.
Ah, body count 11 now. Yeah, you gotta be very careful not to hit those explosives because it's a one-hit kill. Whoa. The, the way that the motorbike here is designed, it looks like it would have been made in the 20s, 30s, or 40s. Judging by its sound and its engines. And like I said, it's not even hover technology. It's like looks like it still runs on gasoline. Because I still wonder, maybe it could be possible to make something like that if people don't notice that. And I may have to go back to get that scout fly, but I'll save that for later, because I'm going to need to activate the, the yellow eco vent to get yellow eco all over the world. Isn't it ironic? We got little volcanoes in a volcano. <laughs> All right, so there's a red sage's lab, and it would make sense to be red too, because red is usually magma and lava. Body parts in those things. <laughs> He's upside down. Holy yakow! The red sage's lab looks worse than the blues. Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. The Red Sage Gal gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gall? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the Dark Eco would affect you both. Mm, nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the blue and red sages? <laughs> I think Jack Don't feels ashamed of not that. listening in you the beginning. Fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You are wrong, Samos. Dark Eagle can be controlled. We've learned its secrets, and now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can't control Dark Eco by itself. Even the precursors... Until now, we've had to scrape by with what little Dark Eco we could find near the surface. But soon, we will have access to the vast stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos. Yes, the silos. They will be opened, and all the dark ego of the world will be ours! But that's impossible! Only a precursor robot- <laughs> Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> big plans? I don't... What kind of plans? Wait a minute! That was Gull? The same Gull who's supposed to change me back? Gull is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your Zoomer heat shield should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. Great balls of eco. 
There seems to be a large lurker presence in the spider caves. Great. Sounds like a real cheery place. Let me guess. There are spiders in the spider caves, right? <laughs> of course there are spiders in spider caves. Exactly, Captain That's Obvious. The, the lurkers are after crystals of concentrated dark eco. You've got to destroy the crystals before those monsters get their hands on them. Up to it. All right. Dark eco I guess. crystals. I guess Kairi is. I'm not good at remembering to pronounce her name. Sorry. Uh, we'll just collect enough precursor orbs to get the four power cells from the miners, and then we'll stop. Whoa. This gondola <laughs> seems to be malfunctioning. I'll try to work on it and get it running again. Hey, what what does it take to get it to work? Hey guys, by my calculations, it's going to take 72 power cells to fuel the heat shield against the lava on the way to Gaul and Maya Citadel. Okay. 360. That's all we need to get all four power cells from the miners. Alright. Let's go get those cells. And then we'll stop. Well, here they are. Hey, Gordy, duh. I think we got visitors. <laughs> you think, Willard? Howdy, strangers. Uh, passing through? Uh, us two. Well, we gotta be moving on. Nothing I like the, the uh, short guy's mustache. A priceless gem worth Willard! <laughs> Not Jim. We got four of them. Do you want them? What Bird Brain here is trying to say is we may <laughs> His head's on fire. <laughs> and we might Those two are probably my favorite minor characters in the game. Where have I heard that before? Hey, how do you two geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants. We got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy, wouldn't it take less time if you dug too? Gordy and Willard. Willard's like the childlike guy and Gordy's the grumpy guy. Oh, all right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. All right. Oh, all right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. <laughs> now, obviously, Willard's the the dumb guy because a bird cage for a head. You'd call him a bird brain. Oh, all right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. <laughs> and Gordy, you can tell he's grumpy because of the fire on his head. <laughs> <laughs> like you see in cartoons where the character gets pissed and he's on fire. Oh, oh, yeah, I got it this time. Uh, he's a... Uh, he's a... <laughs> a power cell. Yeah, yeah, what he said. That's it. You're cleaning us out. No more power cell. <laughs> You gotta love those two. <laughs> oh, scout guy crate. All right, so I'll stop right here, and I'll see you in the next part.